If you were working solely primarily, primarily solely in the, in the structural taxonomy, you would be dealing with sprained knees or bad backs or sore necks. You would be working with the physical structure to release holdings so that the person could stand up with less effort. In the functional taxonomy, you would, uh, which complements the goals of the structural work, but you would be working with some very fundamental rudimentary things like how to sit and how to stand so that there's effort, so that the body lengthens rather than shortens. In terms of the psychobiological, I think it's more accurate if it were called the psychoneurobiological. Because of the bonding between infant and primary caregiver, usually the mother, the nervous system is regulated or has sets a baseline for self-regulation. It happens some in utero, but certainly from birth to two years of age. So the nonverbal period of the infant's, the child's life, all of this gets programmed. And this is why there are some issues that cannot be rectified with psychotherapy, talk therapy. But since touch is pre-verbal, working uh, with body work can address these issues in a way that other therapies don't. The energetic is the most difficult to talk about and the most difficult to define and of course it's the one I'm most interested in. One way to talk about it is that there's the formless, the void, out of which something happens and then form, these bodies arise. And so it's like this information or energetic matrix or uh, plan that determines how things take shape. And so when, if when one is working, doing a rolfing session, if I am consciously relating to the, that information exists and aligning with that and by transmission in a sense, aligning the client with that, then something, in my opinion, greater can happen than taking care of a sprained ankle and we need to know how to take care of sprained ankles.